JC here at Motorcycle Superstore and I have the GV Outback Aluminum Pannier System. You're going to be able to order these individually or as pairs. Obviously the pair makes the most sense if you're just getting set up for the first time. But it's available in two different sizes and also two different colors. You have the brushed aluminum here like you see but also a flat black version. That thing looks awesome, probably scratches a little bit easier. But you can get these in the 37 liter capacity which is what I have in front of me today or in a 48 liter capacity if you need the additional storage. So first and foremost, these are a little bit special. They're new, they're designed for adventure touring, so that means they're a little bit more robust in their construction. The mounting hardware, which is sold separately, is also going to be a little bit more robust. You have to order the proper mounting side plates. It's going to be called their cam side system. They use a larger diameter tubing. They're designed for the rigors of adventure touring riding. A lot of the products in, CD, or in GV's lineup can be used for ADV stuff. However, these are specifically designed to handle those types of stresses. So, what I mean by that, it's the construction. This is made from an aluminum material and you will find reinforcements both in aluminum alloys and with these polymers around the edges as well. The aluminum reinforcements are built in on the critical stress areas where you might crash and get the most damage. The same thing kind of goes for the plastics here on the exterior side of things, really just a lot of scuff protection. This thing looks the part. It's big, it's badass, lots of angles and there's lots of stuff going on here to allow you some flexibility. First off, there are a ton of accessories for this, so check it out online. You can really dial this thing in to meet your needs. However, you're also going to find carrying handles on the top which are nice and easy to get a hold of. You'll also find these attachment points as well. That makes it easier to, one, they have a set of soft straps you could put across, but also these are attachment points for any other type of strap downs you might be using. They do also have a cargo bag that's designed to integrate specifically with these four points. But some of the more crucial things in the way that this performs, you're going to notice the mono key design. And the idea behind the mono key is that it's going to be one key that does two functions. It unlatches the top of the case. It's an open top design or a top loading design. So it opens the case here. It also releases it from your mounting system. So it makes it very easy to do. When you buy the set, you're going to get two keys with each one, but they will be keyed to match. So realistically, you only have to carry the one. You'll be able to get both your boxes on and off. Top cases that match are also available if you really want to go hardcore on this. Now, the mono key design over here is really slick. It basically uses a little rocker design bar that you can kind of see if you get a good look at it. But when you flip this switch, it's going to uh, move the bar in one position to lock it, you turn it the other direction, now this thing can be opened up. It is a complete aluminum design here on the latch mechanism. Very easy to get open. You can see just how easy it is to pull this thing up. Note also, it uses tether straps. This thing will stay up on its own. You can remove these tethers if you would like to because the entire lid is removable. Now, why would you do that? I don't know, maybe if you need to clean it out for some reason, or if you're gonna overstuff this, like if you have a big tall item, a tent, I don't know what it might be, but it gives you that opportunity. All you have to do is press this little lever on the back and the whole thing pops off. Now, additionally, we talked about the mono key feature, so you'll notice this tab here on the right side of the locking mechanism, you simply pull that out and it will pop this thing loose. One of the nice things about the way that this mounts to the motorcycle is that the bracketry that you're going to attach this to actually has a red and a green setting. So when the bag is not fully installed or if it's not latched in properly, it will show red, a very easy visual indicator that you need to get that thing secured tightly. Once you lock that thing in place and it pops down, it goes green, you know you're in business, you don't have to worry about this thing falling off down the road. Some other features about this, if you'll notice the lid, it uses a gasketed design. There is a raised lip around the inside of this that slips into this channel. The cool thing about that, it helps keep water, the water basically has to go in and up. GV says this is not entirely waterproof, it is a water resistant thing. Obviously, most, I, most things called waterproof really aren't. You can't submerge this thing, but it will give you great protection from the elements, I have no doubt about that. The storage on the interior is very large, you'll be able to get all kinds of things tucked away in here. Another thing about this, we mentioned the waterproofing, there are actually a couple of O-ring grommets that are hidden beneath uh, some of these pieces in the bottom, the plastic pieces that you see, and those are actually designed to be drains. So if you do get water in here, it will drain out so that not everything inside just sits there in this little cesspool. A very, very cool piece from GV. Check it out online. It's very expensive, however. You're looking for a set of these, over 900 bucks full retail. You also have to buy the bracketry as well, which is about another 250 bucks. So you're looking at over $1,000 easy to get into this, but I really feel that this is something that's unique on the marketplace. The adjustability, the accessories that are coming, 
coming for it, and one, just the badass styling. These GV panniers are available for several different varieties of motorcycles. We actually have a setup for an NC700X, so we'll bolt those things on, and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of the general installation and some of the things that we might notice along the way. So check it out, let me know what you think about these Outback cases, I'd love to hear your comments, and subscribe on YouTube for more product videos. First thing we need to do is get access to the passenger handhold bolts. There's two on each side, it's pretty easy to do. As we pop this seat, one of the things you'll note on this 700X is that it has this little lever that holds it in place. Now, once we remove this, it wants to fall down. So what we're actually going to do is pull this side off, prop it in place and use it as a lever to keep this thing held up, and then we'll pull the other side off. Another thing worth noting, the hardware kit for this machine, it requires us, it gives us four new bolts for this position, but it does not give us the washers. It requires that we reuse the washers for these positions. It gives us some extra washers to use elsewhere. So make sure you read the directions and pay attention to what it's requiring you to keep a hold of so you don't throw those things away. Now, once those are removed, it's time to install the brackets. And if you pay attention to the instructions, we need to make sure that these bracket legs are pointing towards the rear of the bike. They're not really labeled, so you have to do a little bit of figuring out which way it's supposed to go. Fortunately, in this case, it's actually very simple. These are in the proper position. However, we need to put some sticky sided tape on one of these. The front component is going to rest on some bodywork panels here. So nice enough, from GV, they've given us this sticky sided tape. It's just basically a foam piece. It's gonna help protect that insulator. You won't get rattling. It also won't mar up the finish on your plastic piece. So this is the component that goes up front. The directions actually have a little spacer on there that shows you exactly how far to cut. I've already made a mark here, so it's very easy to do. We'll snip this thing in half and lay it in place. Now the tape's on, we're going to install this, but the bracket has to go between the passenger handhold and the bodywork here. So we're gonna hold this in place, reposition this, and then drop the bolt all the way through both pieces. Now that our bracket kit is loosely in place, we're going to move on to the actual side racks. These are going to use a 13 millimeter socket to get in place. The hardware is a simple two bolts up top and two bolts down low. One of the things to note on this is the bracket itself, or the side pannier here, actually has the welded nut on the back side, which means these brackets will sit across the front side of it. This is where having them loose really comes in handy. As you can see, I need to move this thing around a little bit to get these holes to line up on the passenger foot base. Now, once these are in place, everything is located, and I must say, GV actually did a pretty good job of getting the tolerances close. It's very easy to line up. Now we can actually cinch these things down. We'll go through them, tighten them up. Same thing goes for the back side as well. Now, I haven't attached the other side, and I haven't attached the retainer bar that goes across the back as well. But since we've got one in place, let's see if this box actually lines up. That looks awesome. The installation on these GV side cases was very straightforward. One of the things that I noticed was the bracketry was put together very, very well. All the bins, all the mounting tabs, they're exactly where they needed to be to mount up to the motorcycle. So it was really simple. You didn't have to pry and tweak and fight it. Everything was great. Also, one of the key takeaways, make sure you just loose fit everything. Get your bolts in there, but don't start cinching things down until everything is in place. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you overall. Another thing to note on this, we had four extra bolts in our hardware kit, which is a little strange. This thing is on there the way it's supposed to be. I guess it's better to have too many than not enough, but it does kind of mess with your head when you've got extra hardware laying around. Other than that, this thing has been fantastic. It's a really great looking case system. Uh, the clearance issues, there are none. We had a stock exhaust. We also have an aftermarket exhaust. Both of those are going to fit no problem underneath this. So I was really happy to see that. One note on this before we close it up, the weight factor. 
you're going to start loading these things up. So however much weight you put into them is up to you. I think they're rated for about 22 pounds a piece. However, the bags themselves are not light. Neither is the bracketry. You're looking at 12 pounds of bags. You got eight pounds for the bracket. So that's 30 pounds added to the back of your motorcycle. On top of all the gear you're gonna put in there if you're carrying passengers, what I'm getting to here is that you might need to consider upgrading your shock or at least adjusting the preload settings so that your motorcycle handles correctly. Keep that in mind. Other than that, I would love to hear your feedback on the Outback cases. You can tell I'm really impressed with them. Leave me those comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product videos.